Every 10 grams of fiber you eat reduces all-cause mortality risk by about 10%, which very roughly translates to an additional year of lifespan and health span. And the recommended dietary allowance of fiber is 14 grams for every 1,000 calories. So if you eat a 2,000 calorie per day diet, that would mean aiming for 28 grams of fiber per day. And only about 5% of Americans hit that. Your most reliable whole food sources of fiber are all different kinds of beans, lentils, chickpeas, berries, and root vegetables, with whole grains and the rest of fruits and vegetables coming in a distant second. So what if eating more of those high fiber foods causes a, a bad time? First, go slow. Fiber is not a zero to 100 and 0.6 seconds nutrient. Fiber is food for your gut bacteria and they need time to adjust to a difference in uh, their food availability. In general, you want to step up by five grams of daily fiber once per week. So if you currently get 10 grams of fiber per day, don't go to 30, go to 15 for all of next week. If that's going okay, go to 20 for the week after. If it's not going okay, you can step up by smaller increments. So maybe only go up by two grams of daily fiber each week, or you can step up less frequently, like only going up every two weeks. Second, eat some fermented foods, yogurt, sauerkraut, kimchi, kombucha. There was an interesting study done a couple of years ago where they way upped study participants' fiber with or without the addition of a quite a large amount of fermented foods. The study participants that just upped their fiber had mixed results. Some had improvements in their gut microbiome composition and some didn't. The group with the fermented foods had more uniform benefits. Basically adding some probiotics to the mix can help your gut microbiome adjust. Third, it's okay to stick with cooked high fiber foods. If raw vegetables give you a bad GI time, but cooked don't, stick with cooked. Some people also do better with pureed fiber. So smoothies for those raw fruits and vegetables or pureed soups if you also want to stick with cooked. And fourth, mention this to your doctor next time you see them. Especially if going slow, adding fermented foods, and sticking with cooked and pureed uh, fiber foods doesn't help you increase your daily fiber. There could be an underlying health condition and you want to explore that and get it diagnosed and then get personalized recommendations for you.